Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about the custom schedules in Click. So this was added uh, in February 2022 onward on enterprise versions. Uh, where you apart from you know hourly, daily or weekly, you can have also have the custom schedule. Uh, so the, how the custom schedule works, there are two parts into it. One is the increment by how much time you know you want to try the reload. And then we set certain parameters that you know this particular time period uh, when the increment happens, it's also checked that if this falls in this particular time period. Um, so we're going to talk about it. This one is simple. The increment is simple. You can talk about, you can say, okay, five minutes after every five minutes you reload or one hour, five minutes or one day and one hour and five minutes or one week, one day. And so this is my increment. So this is week. The four space is week. This one is day. Then this one is hour. And then this one is a minute. So what I'm going to do is for now, I'm going to use every seven minutes. Okay, uh, so then the, and the next part is the custom filter. This is actually where it gets a bit tricky and um, I found it a little uh, tricky and uh, uh, not user friendly. So I made a little slide off for that. Um, before I go to my slide, uh, you see there are essentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places. Uh, one of them is a hyphen or a dash. So which means it will always be there. So there are uh, four star, uh, five, uh, seven stars. So we can change these stars. Star here means any. So by default, it says that any day, any hour, any minute, it's uh, always there. Okay. So now for each star represent one position. And then we're going to talk about what this, how we can use that. So in this, my presentation, if you see the first position is for the minutes. So there are two options. We can define a specific number like it reloads. It reloads only if the minute is five. So for example, if I'm loading at every seven minutes, it's only going to be reloaded on 35 because otherwise it's not going to use the fifth minute in this particular case. OK, so if uh, fifth, tenth or 20, it's not going to be do that. OK, but if I use from two, so it's going to reload. OK, it's like starting from zero. So it's going to reload on 35 and 42 twice. So in between this interval and then specific is like we can choose either one of them. We cannot choose both. So either we can use this one or this one. OK, and it can happen that you can choose from two type from minutes and for hours you can choose a different one. OK. So in hours again, we have, we can say that, okay, nine to five, uh, we, you have to use in our 24 hours format and, or we can use, you know, specific hours that, okay, just reload then seven, seventh hour, ninth hour, 11th hour, 13th hour. Okay. Then dash that is there for everything. And this is our third place. And then the next place is the month occurrence. Uh, so, uh, this one, goes with this day of the week. So this these do goes together. And this is where a lot of confusion happened to me. Um, so if I have to read it, I have I will read it like, you know, first and third. Mm, okay, let's just do that for now. Okay, so the first and third Monday, first, second and third Monday, or first and fourth Friday, Sunday being the zero, Sunday, zero, Monday, one, Tuesday, two, and Saturday is the six. So it says that, you know, um, from one to three, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, first for first three occurrences. So there is, a, it's not the first week of the month, it's the first occurrence. So for example, the, it can happen that, you know, a week started, a month started on Tuesday. So it's, it might be the first week. You can call it the first week, but the Monday will occur actually in the second week. So there's little bit um, difference in between the you know, week of the month and the month occurrence. So in this case, we are talking about the monthly occurrence here. Okay. So this is going to uh, reload for that. And then again, we have the interval like first, second and third, or we can specify like first and fourth value only. And then uh, similarly, the days of week, uh, there are zero to six. Uh, we can uh, specify them and then there is a weekly interval 
so this is actually the increment part which has been put here i don't understand why it's there um there is no point in here uh, i'm trying to figure it out but it says the documentation says that it's a weekly interval and we cannot have definitely from two uh, it's just you know a specific time and it uh, number of in weeks that should the interval between that uh, it it will check after those intervals and then the simple one yeah day of month so we can have you know uh, 22nd to 30th last, last 10 days of the v month or a specific days 10 20 or 30 day and then we can also have the number of months of for example from third to ninth months or we can have the just the quarter ends so uh, this is basically uh, th uh, these filters when used in conjunction they actually give us more um, clarity that uh, what does that mean uh, and then there is another angle so if you put steric for example anywhere if you put steric so that means that all hours or our runs or everything and whereas uh, in normal cases we're gonna put it you know uh, interval in here and then um, this was this is a weird symbol that came in uh, it for the last normally we use minus one in this case we're gonna use um, this particular symbol for if we want to say you know the last one so maybe that's a monthly occurrence the last monthly occurrence we might not know that month mon last monthly occurrence can be fourth or my last monthly occurrence can be fifth so in this case we're gonna have <coughs> yeah, sorry this particular thing okay an example is that so you know this is every two hours increment and the filter says any minute between 9 to 6 p.m any week any occurrence monday to friday every week every day of the month and any day of them any any month of the year the second one it's every second monday it's daily basis increment and uh, when you put the schedule on this side filter this side so it's uh, good to put the increment on daily basis so it says every second monday any day of the month any week of the month any month all the months okay so these are a couple of examples that i put in so let's say i'm just gonna put an example here 34 to 45 all the hours and let's say I'm going to say all the occurrences just on Wednesday. Okay, so let's just say we're going to say uh, Friday here. And then I'm going to say that in 10th month. Okay, so and, and this is hourly schedule. I'm going to delete this one. Here we go. And I'm going to go apply. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and let's check that. So it says that your next execution is 2024, 07, uh, at some point in time. So you see it, the next schedule has changed based on my filters that I have done. And let's see, just uh, so yeah, this is the monthly interval. Uh, so after every 10 months, it's going to occur. Okay. Okay, so that's it for today's video. If you have any question, please post. Yeah, this one is a little bit uh, trickier uh, to put the custom schedules. Uh, but if you have any question, do let me know.